Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Gaming by Gaslight Conquers China as the Manchurian Horde, one war at a time. Uh, when we last left off, we were having a jolly good time, you know, taking care of these fellows. Unfortunately, I forgot that Korea was actually in this whole war, and, you know, they're trying to retake Korea, which is cute, but, you know, not really going to pay off for them. I wonder, though, if I do piece things out, could I take Korea at all? No, I can't touch Korea. Should have just declared war on Korea. Ah, but then again, that would have been kind of silly, wouldn't it? Oh, well. I, I do kind of want to see what I can take now. I mean, obviously, first things first. We want to clear off our borders. All right, that, that's going to greatly anger people. All right, so... Not really gonna be able to get that much. And this is basically, well, I guess I might as well take this. This is gonna be it, basically, so. All right, so we, we just gotta basically eat out the length of war penalty and such. I mean, the good thing is, actually, I, you know what? I really want clean borders, so maybe I won't take this and I'll take this instead. Plus, I won't have to deal with mountains ever again. You know what? I like that much better. What if I do this? Can I take anything else? No. Alright. This isn't as nice as if it was a non-coalition war, but overall... Ah, there's where their armies are. I was wondering where they were. It'll be interesting to see what they get up to. I mean, I'm not really concerned. I, I mean, I am concerned about losing my capital, so maybe I'll build up more mercs. In a five or six stack of mercs, I put a leader on that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right? Maybe. I could probably get something cool going here where I mess up with Korea. And their plans for world domination. Silly Korea thinking they can beat the almighty. I still don't have my siege leader actually sieging. You stupid. Alright, let's uh... Kinda drop all but one here. All right, we want the siege leader doing something. Uh, meanwhile, over here, there we are, and we'll take off him so that, you know, the non-siege leader is still available for combat duty because that's kind of important. Is this flat? Tills. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Goddamn Koreans. They are far more devious and clever than I gave them credit for. Also, we have Ming Separatists to deal with, apparently. That's also, you know, kind of sad. Sad for me. Uh, let's see here. Where... Where is all this? It's here? Can I do anything about that? I cannot. That's unfortunate. I mean, I can do something here. Those are just Liang Separatists. Uh, let's see. No, I don't... You know what? I'm just gonna let them pop. It's gonna be rather inconvenient for me, but... You know... Sometimes, sometimes you have to accept inconvenient truths in order to get better results or something. I don't know. Yeah, you better run. Oh, don't you think I'm not coming for you? Oh, I... Yeah, that's right. You run away. You run away from the almighty Manchurian hordes. We're better than you. Don't you forget it. Ah... Uh... I love it. There's something about this time of year. Uh, what? It, what is the borders of this? Yeah, it does. It just like barely touches. So, all right. We'll siege out everything else because again, we you know, we kind of need to. It's very important. Uh, where are you going, good sir? You know, I'll fight you in the mountains just because that is how much contempt I have for your you as a as a people. No, I, I, I don't even think that your or my uh, penalties to being in mountains will... Yeah, I, I basically stack wiped you like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Uh, where are you going? Zuzu or Shu... Shu Shu, I guess. Maybe it would be closer to how that's properly pronounced. Uh, Sure, why not? Ang Jin, they're taking my land back. But, overall, still, still pretty successful here. 
uh, you can kind of go over there, I guess. I might as well siege my land back. I, like, I, I am not in any way concerned about losing this war. Oh, and look at that. Korea has conveniently brought its armies over here. Oh, and I completely forgot I was trying to siege back land here. All right, I'll... There we go. Siege back the capital. That might distract them into doing something stupid. Oh, beautiful. We are getting amazing levels of just absolute crushing, killing power going here. So that's good. That's good for us. Uh, this is less good. Didn't notice that stack over there. Uh, there's also this 10 stack over here, which, considering the fact that there is literally just one horse protecting it, probably is not boating very well for us. So let's send this guy down here instead. We'll deal with those guys later. Overall, I am satisfied. Oh, we really need to go to war with someone who has a lot of money so I can take all that money so I can actually... Oh, I, I can't fabricate any more claims on you? That's a shame. Uh, you're not doing anything. You're not... You're not really doing anything right now, but you could be. All right, let's uh, pop you off. All right. And overall, I do have some mild concerns here about about life. Not too many, but but there are some. Some mild concerns. Where are you going? You're going in here. No, I don't even care. I'm 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 a crazy person. Damn it. Absolutely insane. Like, look how powerful I am. It doesn't even matter that I'm fighting in hills. I'm just like, so what, bro? You're going to Gion, are you? Oh, nope. Okay. Don't really know what I'm trying to accomplish there. Other than just kind of flip-flop in a crazy fashion. But overall, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. We're losing massive ducats per turn. I am again forgetting that we have guys who are just kind of, you know, sitting here and not doing anything. I'm sad I can't touch Korea in this particular war, but... Oh, damn it, I have to actually take this land back? Err. Oh no, no, don't, no, don't run into that. And we have calm separatists? Oh, I guess it makes sense that people are much more likely to separate when my land is all sieged out and stuff. All right, so we'll kind of, yeah, you're probably dead. I'll just accept that in my life. Uh, and I'll hire a mercenary to, you know, do some mercenary work up here and just siege land back. Because why not, right? Uh, cowardly people on pikes somewhere. I don't like this. Wait, why am I sending... Hang on a second. I'm an idiot. Get back down here. You gotta scare these guys away. There we go. There we go. Well, that's jolly fine work right there, my, if I do say so myself. Alright, now we'll circle back. No, I don't want to go on the first... Silly man. Alright, there you go. Alright, let's uh, siege this stuff out. Uh, continue sieging back my own land, because that just makes sense. Uh, these Koreans are probably going to try killing him. We're at 42%. Could you please, like, actually siege that back? Like, it'd be really appreciated if you could maybe consider finding it somewhere in your heart to do that. Just like it'd be nice if, you know, you could move, maybe. You know what? Attack with it. I don't want this war to just be over at this point in time. All right, I want this back. And if I can't have that, I want this. I might as well spread it out. I mean, kind of the part of the point here was so I could actually get nice, clean borders. Stupid length of war. I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point you've, you've kind of lost. All right, now there's some Ming Separatists to deal with. This is, this is an, a good argument for why you should have forts, but, you know. Oh, come on. Fi finish the siege, damn it. Oh, good. I actually finished the siege. I like that. All right. So that has actually dramatically shifted things again. So, good. I can actually take everything I want. Good. All right. That works out. I would have liked to take this, but, you know, it's not worth the hassle at this point in my life. So we'll just do that. I also apparently finished a mission I had that I didn't even notice I had. Which, it works out. Works out good. Not as good as it could have. But not as bad as it could have. I mean, let's be honest here. I think, overall, this is a more than satisfactory 
situation, excuse me, that we find ourselves in. Uh, all right. I'm going to just drop one guy there to finish sieging that out. Go over there. Wait a minute. Where'd the rebels go? Oh, the rebels are over there. So someone else, there's someone else's problem now. Yes. And you can go over there. We need a new mission. I guess. What is our overextension looking like? It's only 54%. But what does this do for us? It's just diplomatic reputation. I think I'd rather have this because it actually gives some more development to one of our colonies. And that's always nice. I mean, who doesn't like development in your colonies? Okay, good. So everything played out nicely there. We have a truce in 39 now. And we're, we might want to expand into Calm, who has Shagate as a vassal. Oh no, they're a vassal of Shagate. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I also have a fort over here. Who needs forts? Those are gross. And I'll go ahead and delete you, and delete you again, get rid of the mercenaries, try to save some money, which actually has not brought us into the positives, and we're getting more inflation again. I always hate when that happens. We have lost the effect of trading in Chinaware, and also the hordes, the tribes, that is, believe they need more land. All right, what is the cheapest piece of land I can give them? I'll shut them up. Uh, let's see. This is a five development land, and it only produces fish. That was not enough for them. Bloody tribes, always wanting more. It's always me, me, me with them. And what if, I mean, what if the horde, or the hordes, the tribe, what have they done for me lately? Nothing. Uh, I don't like the fact that, that these guys are coming back. That's kind of scary. All right. I mean, overall, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Who do I want to go to war with next? Probably Mongolia. Let's see here. Do I have a royal marriage with them still? I do not. Well, that's good. I'll just keep building that spy network for no particular reason. Uh, you. Can I fabricate another claim? I cannot. Alright. Uh, is this flat terrain? It is. So I can kill these guys pretty damn easily. Or at least I should be able to. Hopefully. Maybe. Uh, you can... Go over there as well. And then we've got to deal with these calm separatists again, unfortunately for me. We did win, though. Oh, God. That was god-awful. And now everyone can group up over here, and then we'll eventually go fight these separatists. I'm never going to pay back that loan. I've pretty much determined that at this point. I, actually, you know what? I could debase my currency a bit. And if I really want to risk that. Because the interesting thing is, in 1.19... Debasing currency actually, it lowers your unrest, which doesn't make a lot of, oh, I guess bread and circuses. It all makes sense when you think about bread and circuses. And I can just debase my currency a bunch of times to pay off my loans. It's brilliant. Here, I'll, I'll do it twice. Sure, we'll repay our loans. Then all I need to do is lower army maintenance costs, and basically, Bob's your uncle, I can, you know, I have done things for free, and I just need to wait a couple of years for for this to go away. In fact, let's see, minus 25 per year. I get it up to minus, uh, minus 50. Okay, minus 50. Pretty expensive, but if I lower my army maintenance, okay, not quite, so. And if I don't mind sitting on it for a couple of years. Let's see here. Okay, good. So once I've taken care of these guys, I can basically just take out my army maintenance entirely and sit on it for a couple of years until this goes away. Then, when hopefully we save up the money for actually pick up our institutions here. What's this? Attrition for... Oh, right, right, right. Oh, goody. This is actually spreading quite nicely. How much is it going to cost us to embrace? Still 962. God damn it. It's going to take 100 million years for us to get that. Oh, well. And we're in no rush, are we? Oh, good. These guys are leaving. Okay, we can actually raise another host. So, let's see here. Yep, that makes sense. Raise that host. Once their influence goes back up. Probably should have saw that one coming. Yeah, because they got reprimanded twice because of two events that I believe I took care of off camera. Alright, we have Kenny. 
natives doing their thing over there. I'm just gonna have to sit here until those guys wander off. Five hundred. Yeah, right, why not? Do I have a like a missionary guy? Oh, I do. I, I probably should check to see how old he was to see if this was worth it. Oh yeah, that's gonna speed things up much, much nicer. Get all that religious unity in there. It's gonna cost us a whole bunch of money, but what the hell, right? Oh, I'm separatists. Okay, good. They're dead. All right, and now we just do this, and we're making money again. Hooray! Maybe we should go to the coast, just to make sure. Incidentally, in terms of Rebel Watch, Min Separatists who are down here? Yes, okay, so... Yeah, we'll take care of that. Incidentally, uh, might as well raise autonomy where it makes sense to do so. Which is most places. Ooh, 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 I almost forgot. Never exciting moment here. Damn it! I can't... We're... Ah, oh, we're four development away! Four development! We just need to conquer one more province, basically. Or two more, at the most. Uh, you has caught me spying on them. Uh, who, who's you again? It's you. You are you. Alright. Can't afford to fabricate claims. Damn it. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Who do I want to fabricate more claims on. I guess the key here. Ooh, I don't actually have a true swift. They're out of the shoon and the shoe, so I can actually finish the shoe off and the shoon while I'm at it. You appear to have been wrecked most utterly by my deliciousness. So, hmm. Yeah, I'll go for a unified China CB. That should work out just nice. But we're, we are gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna just kind of sit here and let our corruption burn off. Uh, let's see here. Lowered unrest. I do kind of like that, but I am 50-some years old, so that's not really going to last long. Or wait, did I read that right? Or maybe, maybe it was actually for, oh my god, we only have to survive. Actually, I think it's only two years. For the love of god, let us survive those two years. Like, don't, don't screw me over, game. Like, just, just love me for once in your life. Do you have any love for me at all? We'll do this. You will do this one thing. Uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter how long I take. So, incidentally, since we've never really dealt with corruption, what does it actually do to us? It lowers our foreign spy detection, lowers our spy network construction, increases the cost. Everything that costs monarch points is increased by 3.5%. It also increases our minimum autonomy by one75 so overall, I mean, it's not that bad at this particular stage. And, I mean, we just, I don't know. Oh, it's burning off by almost one a year. So, you know, it's just going to take like three, four years. And then it'll be gone and we'll be fine. Oh, sweet. Military tech cost goes down. Let's see here. I can store a lot of that. Oh, good. The tribes have finished being reprimanded so I can raise another host. It also means we get a new leader. Was, eh, he's kind of meh. But this guy, we want our siege leader back. We're also losing money. I should also raise our maintenance a little bit so we finish, uh, you know, building back up again. Where? Where? Oh, they're being built all the way the hell up here. Come on. Like, why would you do that to me? I mean, I guess we do want to go to War of Mongolia eventually, but, you know, come on. This is also probably the point where I... After this episode, I'm going to cut away a bit to uh, just fight some wars, clean up our borders, and make things look nice and pretty before, like, the next big thing, which is probably when we're going to try to break our way into India and conquer over here and eventually fight the Ottomans and all the cool stuff that will happen when that goes down. Which will be fun. I think so, at any rate. And, yeah... But we are going to probably want, mostly we're going to want to finish unifying China, is my guess. Uh, who are you? Kin. Uh, let's see. I guess I might as well build some more claims on the Shun while we're at it. And how is... Uh, this is all pretty good, actually. I uh, lost a whole bunch of claims here. The Council of Tuchel telling us the Pope. I don't really know why I care about this because, you know, we're neither Christian nor European. 
It has no real effect on us, basically. And... No. No, no. I I'm clicking on you, good sir. Dave Yet. Fabricate a claim, dang gummit. There we are. It always kind of annoys me when there's, like, fog of war nearby. It's sometimes hard to actually click on a nation and, you know, actually get their kingdom to show up. But oh well. You know, it's one of those things. I wonder if I have the unified China CB against these guys. Do I? Uh, let's see here. Conquest, tribal conquest, unified China. I don't. They, these guys apparently are not technically part of China for some reason. That's interesting. Uh, Weechi is still doing stuff. Eh, you're almost, almost annexed, apparently. If only I could increase their liberty desire a little bit. But they're loyal, apparently. So we're going to have a unified Japan, which is interesting. Ooh, we're losing lots of ducats there. Lots and lots of ducats. Uh, lower this a little bit. Nope, that actually doesn't make it better at all. Uh, you know what? In that case, let's... Uh, I mean, let's kind of help colonialism spread a little, shall we? I mean, we're also going to be increasing... Oh! Right! We can also do that. Alright, so we have now immediately made every single nation in China accept it. Or every single culture that's part of China is now accepted. So that's pretty sweet, which means we're going to get a lot more money than we used to. Which I think is pretty sweet. And once the month ticks over, we should get another diplomat, I think. Or because we're a horde, we don't. Let's see. Gain base tat? Yeah, I'll do that. What's this? You demand more provinces. Did I not just give you provinces? Like, I boosted provinces that belong to the bloody hordes. Gosh darn it. Ah, they're never satisfied. You know, you give them an inch, they want a, they want a, a mile or something. Something of that nature. And it's really, really, really annoying. You still want more? Oh my god, you people are the worst. Though it does occur to me at this point, I could actually make more states. So that's also something I'm going to fiddle around with off camera, most likely. Uh, Chinaware, why not? Why doesn't Chinaware have an effect? I was sure, like, trading in Chinaware had some kind of cool effect. Maybe not if you're a horde. Anyway, we'll fiddle around with all this stuff in due time. And generally, just be awesome. So I like that, I'm happy, and yeah, yeah, I think after this episode, I'm going to uh, clean up my borders, like I said, and I'm going to try to conquer as much over here, just, you know, for nice borders and getting over here, as quickly as possible, May eh, but then again, I could save the hordes for, for last, really, now that I think about it, eh, I don't know, I'm kind of debating here, because, I mean, we've basically... We could form, once we go to Wharf Mongolia and take Zil and Gol here, we could basically form uh, the Qing Dynasty and basically be like, well, campaign over, we've met our goals. But like I said, I do want to make it up for like the whole reset and attempt to conquer all the way to Constantinople at the very least, and maybe to Vienna here. Possibly. We'll see how things play out, really, I guess is the way to look at it. And until then, actually, before we wrap this episode up, let's see if there is a nearby nation anywhere that has, like, a lot of money. Let's see here. I find it funny that it can't fit treasury in here anymore. Uh, Bohemia has 3,000 ducats. Bahamanis has 1,000. The Ottomans have 800. Uh, Majaf... Maja... Majapit? However... Badly, I may have pronounced that. I feel like they're down here somewhere. Somewhere around here. Where are you? Where are you, Mashup Pit? Yeah, you're all the way down there. I... Is it you? No, that's Malacca, right? No, that is... <laughs> and this is... Sunda. Did you always exist? I have to assume you did. Yeah, I mean, if I just colonized over here... I had, like, a navy that could handle these guys... I could basically just start conquering down here, form a whole bunch of trading companies and stuff. Because you can now form a trading company as, you know, a non-European nation, which is pretty sweet. So we might want to fiddle around with that. Plus, you know, get us a lot of money down there. But let, let's let's continue looking at stuff here. Uh, Majpit, Brunei, who is 
I saw them. They were like down here somewhere, weren't they? Yeah, you're, they're you. You guys right there. Tabaristan. The Chu actually have a lot of money. Where's the Chu? Until 42. I'm going to want to go to war with them. Just to take that money. Mombasa. Japan has a lot of money. Malabar. Luwu. Sunda. I mean, basically, I mean, there's a lot of people with a lot of money hanging out around here. And I'm going to want to take that money for my own diabolical ends. So... You know what? No, no. Before I just start cutting away and not showing stuff on camera, I'm going to finish unifying China. Then I'll cut away from, like, boring stuff. Just to fast forward stuff. Any real important battles I'll actually show or something. Or, I don't know. I don't know. Mostly because I don't want this series to drag on too long. But I do want to show all kinds of cool stuff. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out how things things play. Uh, leave your comments below and let me know what you what you think, whether you would want me to cut stuff or if you would like me to show everything, even if it takes 500 years for the series to, you know, run its course. I don't think it'll take that long because I'd have to screw up pretty dang badly, but, you know, anything is possible in an infinite universe. So, with that said, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.